Thank you for joining us today. I'm your host, Zelda Robinson. I can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> I am sitting here with two of my favorite girls in the whole wide world. <laughs> hey, Kelly girl. Hey, Kelly girl. Yes, girl. Or as Wendy would say, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I like her. I like her show. Don't you love Wendy I love Williams, her girl? I, got I my, love I that got show. I got my legs crossed her. like hers. I did my Wendy. You got your legs crossed yeah, like hers? Yeah, she it? taught me how to cross my legs. You got to cross your legs, <laughs> Really girl. cross them. Okay. <laughs> In case you're wondering who this lady is sitting here with her legs crossed, this is Chicago's own legendary LaDonna Tittle, your tittle in the middle. Hey. hey. So glad to be here, forever. finally. Girl, we have loved you forever and a day. Thank you. As Can my you just girl. love me for an extra day, too? For an extra day? How about two days? An extra two days. <laughs> How, about a hug? Hug? How about a hug? How about a hug? How about a hug? How about a hug? And sitting here is my other diva, Chicago's own Miss Troy Tyler. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Troy. girl. Uh, That's Troy eye. with an eye. <laughs> Troy with an eye. I love now, it. you notice, you noticed I said, the girls, we said color girls. When we came on, we said, hey, color girls. And why did we say that, girls? Well, well I can tell you this. Okay. okay. Because LaDonna Tittle and myself, along with Bonnie Deshawn, Yada Carter, Cynthia Maddox, Darnese Cox, we all did Intozaki Shange's play for color girls who committed suicide when the rainbow isn't enough. So whenever we see each other, we always reference each other as Call it girl. Call it girl. Call it girl. <laughs> of course, it was Deborah Crable and Eva D. Yes. Cannot hey, forget Eva. Eva D. Yes. Hey, Eva Hi, D. Because we did so many productions of it, mm -hmm. and so we just kept getting. And then you would come to the to the uh, performances, mm -hmm. so you became this honorary colored girl as well. Honorary colored, colored girl. girl. She still is, <laughs> she still and is. we love her. So, you know, there was this, we had so much fun doing that. Yes, we play. did. Oh, like, my goodness. And I was so glad to see you all in the play because I've always wanted to do a play. I wrote a play as a child, but I never acted it out because writing is my passion. But to see you all come alive on stage, I felt just like I was a part of it. So when you called me an honorary color girl, I'm like, yeah. You are. Well, you see, LaDonna Tittle and Deborah Crable and Eva D and Cynthia and Darnese, they, they were all the thespians. You okay. Know, and I was the novice. And notice she said thespians, not lesbians. Okay, let's want to keep that straight. You know, we must keep that straight because <laughs> theater people just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, I was so proud that Eva D came because, you know, Eva, our very own Eva D suffered a very massive, mm. like, stroke. Mm -hmm. Not massive to the point of death, but to the point that it was a crippling thing. Oh. And here this girl was a vibrant dancer. Beautiful girl. A lovely actress. And she did come to see us in Hope Six. She did. E. Kelly's play that I just finished and got a nomination from the Black Theater <gasps> Alliance <laughs> Award. <laughs> I'm in the Hattie McDaniels uh, column there for the uh, for an award oh for oh, that's outstanding. my role as Messiah. Congratulations. So Nambi E. Kelly, thank you for writing those precious words. As a matter of fact, the little girl that plays my granddaughter, Najwa Brown, is in a category for upcoming best actress. Mm. Uh Dushan. Dushan Monique Brown. <laughs> they play Queenie. Okay. <laughs> Don't beat me up, Queenie. Uh, she's in the uh, Ruby D uh, category for a nomination also. And Nambi Kelly is for a writer. So you've got to write that play oh. because you never know where okay. it can take you. Yeah. And make sure there's a role for me. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I, just, I, <laughs> I love her. She knows how to get a play. Oh, truly she does. She knows. I she's am. A pro. You know what? She's a pro. This is what she does. I was. I no saw humble me. pie anymore. No. Okay. Uh -uh. Let no. me tell if you, you want the job, ask for it. Hello. <laughs> I saw the play Magnolia, mm -hmm. oh. and LaDonna was an understudy. Yes. Oh. And when I went to see the play, forgive me, Lord. But I had never wanted someone to not be well. <laughs> so that, oh, okay. for whatever reason, okay. because the understudy is the one that comes in when the the uh, lead actress or actor uh, gets sick camp, or has gets sick job or, or whatever. Like, right. you know, and I so wanted right. to see LaDonna. I was like, <laughs> Carlotta maybe Mendoza, this, wasn't that a great role? Oh, and I could just role. see LaDonna doing this role. I must say, in that play, the understudies were better than the lead characters. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> As a matter of fact, you remember the guy that played the guitar in it? Yeah. The understudy was better than that guy. <laughs> I am not kidding. Really? Yeah, as a matter of fact, the last week of Magnolia at Goodman, three actors were out and they were all men. You know I wanted to be a man, don't you? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, so three of the understudies got to go up. And generally, you just have to be dead or not there, okay. you know, to for an understudy to go up with the Goodman anyway. Okay. But it was a wonderful experience just working with Regina Taylor. Mm. But I couldn't wait to do this other role with Hope Six as Messiah, which was another difficult Hope role. Hope Six you, was the bomb. You liked it. I had to go see it twice. It was just that good. Some because, things you have to do a yeah, second time. Yeah, you do. Because, you know, the first time you don't get everything. No, the. Yeah, the first time you don't get everything, so you have to go back and see it yes, again. Yes, you do, seconds. Now, which one, the lady you talked about that had the, the, the massive stroke, was it? Which one? Yes, Eva was D. Eva which D. color Eva girl D. was that? She was the lady in blue. And this was see, the one that we did several that we, productions. Right. Okay. And uh, the first production, Yada Carter, was a lady in blue. Okay. So the last production, and, and the thing about it is when we did the play the second time, there was a scene that wasn't in our first production. Okay. There was um, the abortion, the abortion scene. scene. Oh, oh yeah. And, um, Which was so great. Okay. We had to tell the director what to do. Oh. God bless us so. Really? We, love we love you. Him. But yeah, they yeah. kind of thought that it he would bring the direction. it would bring the audience down. down. Oh. But but in Tazaki Shange, that was a part of the book. Okay. So yes, it we was. insisted that this would be in our next production. Okay. And Eva D did that one and she did it magnificently. She did. She, she was did. brilliant. You were so, brilliant, Eva D. My heart goes out to her. She's been a strong lady. Yeah. A strong yeah. lady and a rehab and coming back. Well, we'll dedicate this show. Eva D. How about yeah. that? I gotta call and tell her. Yes. yes. Let her know that we're thinking about her. <laughs> yes. yeah. We we went by to see her not too oh, long you? ago. LaDonna Till, myself, Deborah Crable. We stopped and by. CJ. And, and CJ. CJ. Why you didn't call me? I could have came. And we were too. eating. I thought I was we honoring We were eating and laughing girl. and talking That's and having a good time. <gasps> Your chicken. <laughs> no, you did your chicken. chicken. Yes, we did. You know I don't want to did tell you, you the menu, it? do you? No, please. Of course I cooked it. I cooked everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you cooked some jerk chicken and you didn't call me. I am too No, through. I don't didn't. you just I love really her did. cooking I show? Did. Girl. I Thank love you. your cooking she show. She started here producing a show. I mean, it was just all over the place. Had all top notch talent. Talk George, show. your talk show, George Clinton, P-Funk, any, anybody you could name, they were on Tittle Show. I was never on your show. Why is that? Because it was short-lived. Oh, okay. Because we went right into the cooking show. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get any call, phone calls with those people. Oh. But once I started cooking them <laughs> chitlins and hog <laughs> That was baby, so Baby, the phone funny. ended up. <laughs> then somebody said I was cooking naked on TV, so that really made it a success. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, no, we just don't have sleeves, that's all. We just, okay. we just thinking outside the box, okay. you know, to do something different. Yeah, because I thought that was and rather exciting. spiffy. Yes, and I noticed when I have my guests on, they now come naked too. Okay. <laughs> so we just have a, in the nude with a naked good time. We drink plenty of wine. Naked and chicken. And we cook like okay. cooking should be fun. In Troy, the have you cooked on Tittle Show? I have yet to cook. I Do you cook? Know Troy yeah, can I, cook? I can cook a little bit. Are yeah. you serious? Yes, I can. I can make lasagna. Troy is greens, too cooked to cook. Chicken no, salad. Too cute to cook. <laughs> too cute to cook. Okay, too cute to cook. No, too cooked to cook. No, too cook to cook. <laughs> I so, cannot imagine Troy cooking. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I can't can cook. Ah. I really can. Troy, 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 Troy is married with ten kids <laughs> and don't cook. <laughs> can you imagine? I taught my she husband to cook. Has nine I taught kids. my oh, husband to about. cook and he perfected it. Girl, and he enjoys cooking, so I let him cook. I know that's right, girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and look how she's so devious. <laughs> So and now I we have to have a cooking show it. with all three of us. Yeah. So that oh, way that we would can be, be on television. Hilarious, show. yes. So you can bring all the camera equipment over to yes. us. Is my kitchen big enough? I, I think I can light it up. Okay. I can light it up. It was lit up, light up the time. kitchen. Tony was on the show. <laughs> Mine will it work. Was lit up. Mine will work for that. And then okay. we have some places we can go and, and take you to the okay. show. Okay. We can cook at uh, the can we, can Bronzeville we? Betty's house. Oh, She's yeah. got the perfect She's kitchen. Got a great big Y'all remember them short ribs of beef we did? Yeah. And we can bring some libations. Yes. yes. Oh, well, you know I that. I'm the mix of all doesn't cook unless there's some libations. I'm I becoming, thought you knew. Wait a minute, I'm becoming a nutritionist and a libationist. Okay. <laughs> 
Because she tells you all the good things that are in it, like the onions and the garlic. Yes, we're and doing the green. Chives. We're thinking green and green. we're thinking green healthy drinks like mojitos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's green, ain't it? Yeah, hello. Hello. I remember now that dish that you came to the house and when you had uh, Chef Tony, my oh, sweetie yes, on the show. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He did smother the smothered fried chicken. chicken was girl. delicious. And Miss Annie's Cajun rice. Oh, Southern it's Cajun simple. rice. It was very sinful. It was so it was good. Delicious. We were eating like cows on the camera, girl. <laughs> but it was so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, speak for myself. <laughs> did I hear a moo? <laughs> did I hear a moo without an oink? <laughs> moo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony Holmes, host of Men on Higher Learning. And you're watching the Higher Learning Network. Uh, what we call a creamy potato soup with mm -hmm. Cajun chicken. A, ooh. And the chicken that we did in the lean green grilling machine to put in the potato soup was so good that I actually cut it up on the carving board and then I licked the carving board. I saw that show. <laughs> I, sh I saw I that show. I needed to see that. I, I said, no, that. she didn't you just lick the carving, the carving board. board. My not, guess said, not once, not twice, but three my, or four times. My guess said, like, oh, if it's that good, you ought to lick the board. I'm like, I will. Oh, she did. She did. I was like, that's true. That licked it licked right up. It was so delicious. I said, I don't know what that was, but I sure did want some it's of it. Called just getting the last of the little bitty <laughs> spices and essence of the So what chicken. you gonna cook? What are you gonna cook? When you, what's your best dish? Yeah, what's your best like dish, Troy? I can make a shrimp creole. Oh, that sounds shrimp good. Shrimp creole? Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, I can do that. Good, With so you bay can cook something. bay leaves and everything. Oh, Ooh. bay leaves, that's okay. a green thing. Okay, yeah. keep, keep going. Some keep chives. Going. Keep going. Yeah, you can, some yeah, chives. Yeah, definitely chives. green onions. Mm -hmm. Well, not chives. Well, I'll just do green onions. Green onions, <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> basil. You gotta have basil in there. And then I do you this other thing. Good. I can Tony cook this. does all the cooking for her. <laughs> I can cook what's called Caribbean <laughs> chicken. Okay. And it's filled with rosemary. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that close to jerk? <laughs> See, now they had to go and embarrass me. The world did not have to know that I don't know how to cook. We forgive you. You can boil water. Yes, I can boil water. Yes. I can make eggs. I can make oatmeal. I can make toast. You could do It's important good. to know how breakfast. to boil I can water. Cook breakfast. I can cook breakfast. Can you? I asked Tony. I can it's cook important to know how to boil water. I can make an awesome water. omelet. Because some people have a difficult time cooking rice. Oh, girl, you know, it's the one dish. I don't know what it is, but some people like to cook it, and then stir it, and cook it some more, and but and before right. you know it, it's mush. That's you're how absolutely I cook right. It. And I, I must tell <laughs> help her father. I, I must tell everybody. That's that not how you cook rice. No. Okay. I'm telling you, I okay. rice is a challenge. Yes, it is. I have decided to go and make it simple by getting a rice cooker. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were gonna mention going Uncle to Ben cheat, or somebody. Cheat, 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 cheat. <laughs> I got, yeah, rice and cooker they have by the rice name of Paul. Time. Anyway, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Okay. Uh, uh, rice cooker is supposed to, you're supposed to have this rice and it comes out perfect every time. Now, my challenge has been jasmine rice. Mm. And it's a way to cook jasmine rice, a little water, cup of rice, and I keep messing it up. I mean, I, it just comes out too it? gooey. So my thing is, my, my challenge now is to make a good, from scratch, no microwave, okay. no rice 